الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله حيا الصلاة يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اللهم اجعلنا من الطائعين والفائزين في الدنيا والآخرة أدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يوفقنا لما يحب ورضاه ويحفظنا وحفظ أبناءنا وبناتنا وأزواجنا وأن يرينا الحق حقا وزقنا اتباع والباطل باطل وزقنا اجتنابه اللهم انصر إخواننا في غزة واحسن دماءهم وانصرهم على من عداهم أدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يؤلف بين قلوبنا أن يهدينا ويهدي بنا ويهدي أهل هذا البلد الإسلام والحبب إليه من الإسلام والمسلمين وجعلنا نكون قدوة لهم وأسك الله سبحانه وتعالى to make us among the righteous and answer our dua and make us see what is right and follow what and what's wrong and stay where it's wrong We ask Allah for his protection you know, to protect us and protect our children, our wives and our communities from all the evil and the challenges that is facing, you know, humanity. And if you think to reflect about what's going on, we need to reflect. You know, ibadah to tadabbur. You know, the, the ibadah of reflection. 
the worship of reflection. It means you reflect, you contemplate. You know, we are not animals. Allah has created us in the best of creation. So we must reflect and understand what is going on around you. Do not occupy yourself by money, wealth, status. This is worthless in the eye of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And unfortunately, this is what we're focusing on. Our primary focus today, it is money, wealth, status. And we believe that it is success. This is not success. Sometimes, you only can become success when you intention that you're going to do these things for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. doesn't mean you should not make money. Because your intention that everything you do, it is for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are exercising either for the pleasure of Allah to make your body strong so you can help others. If you're making wealth so you can help others. If you're getting knowledge so you can help others. At the same time you can make money. Allah does not tell you not to do that. No Islam. But I think today our priority became the focus on the three things. Status, wealth and fame. And money. So this is unfortunately, this is the failure of Ummah Sayyidina Muhammad Ali Sallallahu If I were to know they am in this world for a temporary time, it would be 50 years, it would be one year, it would be 100, 150, 200, you're still going to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if I know I'm going to return to Allah and I'm going to be held accountable, the day when you go to stand in front of Allah and Allah is going to say, I am the king, I am the judge. I am the king, I am the judge. Wallahi, tumma wallahi, there is no creation that was a ruler on this earth going to raise his eyebrows and say, no, I am. In some of the books, they say that this is going to be the last one if to enter Jannah. When Umar radiallahu anhu before he passed away, he said, would your son take over and kafa Umar? It is enough for Umar, Sayyidina Umar, to be held accountable. He doesn't want his family to be held accountable. And today we pass on the torch to others and others. And they think this is what we're supposed to do. Al-Hukmu Baynakum Shura. So we have to vote on what we think it is the best suited for the position. <coughs> And a lot of times people who seek the position might not be qualified for the position. So we must understand that. Only in a few circumstances, the person who seek, when he sees that there is no one coming forefront to take on the challenges. Because we all should know the responsibility of being responsible for others. Responsibility for your family, responsibility for your workers and co-workers, responsibility for your community whatever place of responsibility you put on. And in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yati zaman ala ummati yuhibbuna khams wa insawna khams. Yuhibbuna dunya wa insawna al-ahir. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, it's going to come on a time on his ummah that we love five and we forget five. Yuhibbuna dunya wa insawna We love this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenged when Israel said, if you do so and so, okay, ask for that. And they wouldn't. Because they love this dunya more than anything. And we are the same now. We love this dunya, we love wealth, we love fame. We go and put somebody in the grave and we leave. It's like the, the death is not coming to us and we forget about them. That person right now is in being held accountable. And he wish he can return for a second. And we know the ayah says, Li at the sabdaq, so he can give charity. Okay, so we have to rethink, contemplate what is your purpose in this dunya. It doesn't mean that you should not try to be successful and make money. But what is the purpose of all these things that Allah has given you? What Allah has given you, He will hold you accountable for it. If he gives you a billion dollars, you will be held accountable to that billion dollars. You have to be held accountable to the last penny. How you made it and how you spend it. You have you have and way in someone he said, this is what I just said. We love money, but we forget about being accountable. We 
just love, money, 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 money. You're going to be held accountable. Allah knows what's good for you. Some of us maybe too much money is good for us. Some of us less money is good for us. Medium money is good for us. But Allah knows what is good for you. This is the hikmah of Bani and the wisdom of Allah. But you cannot know that if you don't contemplate. If you don't try to figure out who Allah is. <clears throat> Why Allah has given me this? Am I being patient with what Allah has decreed on me? And this is what we must understand. يحبون المخلوق وينسون الخالق We love people today. If we go in front of a ruler, we like so shaking. You know, I mean, I have to dress in the best of clothes. I have to speak certain way. I have to behave certain way. I have to dress certain way. But when you stand in front of Allah, don't you think of that? When Allah calls you to salat, why don't you come? Why don't you come? We know that there are many Muslims out there right now that are not coming to Salat al Jumu'ah. May Allah guide them. Allah, you know, bless us to be here. And this is the name of Allah. And we pray for our brothers and sisters that Allah will bring them to here and other people. But I'm just trying to give you, the, you know, you contemplate, you say, Alhamdulillah, that Allah brought me. I'm not the person out there. So you always have to have this relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and contemplating and trying to understand what is. Allah went for you when Allah decrees certain things for you. So I'm not saying we should love each other for the sake of Allah. But you shouldn't love one with a condition attached. You love your wife because she's beautiful. Or she cooks the best. One day she can, she's not going to be beautiful. She cannot cook for you. She cannot take care of your children. It is, you know, maybe she drops ill and it is your turn. What are you going to do? But if you love her and she loves you for the sake of Allah, you're going to be there for each other. <clears throat> That's an unconditional love, what is stated in the Webster Dictionary. Because romance is a fairy tale and you should look at it in the dictionary. That's what Hollywood tried to sell to you. And that's what we see today in the soap operas and many things. You hate born al and sound al We love. How big is my house is. I know people who have houses that they are worth five million dollars. They have two children, they have five thousand square feet. My love, listen. But think about it. You're not going to occupy that whole house. The rest of it is occupied by the gym. If you have a property overseas and you don't go to it frequently and you leave it locked up for a year or two, the gym is living there. Allah wants you to buy beautiful things. He wants you to buy expensive cars. He's not, he's not, he doesn't tell you not to do that. But make sure you use it. It is not for show off. Because you know that we're all going to go where? Six feet under. And many of us had to go to the cemetery and see how people have been buried. And once you close that grave and throw the dirt on you, you start walking, the dead heals you, according to Hadith of the Prophet. And he cannot tell you come back. Everything you own goes back with your family, your friends. The only end is it stays with you, your partner, your companion. It is your righteous deed or your bad deeds. So think about this, contemplate about this very much. Don't follow your desire, don't follow your hawa, don't follow your ego. You hit bun al maqsiya when you sell the Today we're promoting the Masiyah. We're promoting what is wrong. We're promoting the city at. I said that last Friday we have, you know, it's the Minister of Justice of Old Morocco who stated about the Hadith. What is this joke? If we have two people sitting together, man and woman, what is the shaitan? What is the shaitan? Give me his ID so he can become a witness. Look at how we became disgraced. If that's your opinion, keep it to yourself. It's so dangerous if you lie on the Prophet or make fun. He is the most lovable person that ever created to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most influential person. We get angry because we lose a soccer game in the Olympic, the football game, how we want to talk, but we're not angry. I'm mad or disturbed about something like this. 
What are you going to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Tell me. Are you afraid of him? When you come to in front of Allah, Allah I tell you, you are afraid of him. I created him. But you will not fear of me. SubhanAllah, we became so passive. There is no emotion in our hearts for the things that, that violate Hulubullah Azza wa Jalla. The parameters that Allah has set for us. Like, it's, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We have to stand. We're not calling for violence as the Muslim, as the media try to put the Muslim out there like because of some few that they are ignorant. Two billion Muslims are not violent. There is violence in every religion.